What's up folks, welcome back to the garage. This is a, a special special edition or special episode in Hans Garage because we have a very interesting guest today. You can see there's a Suzuki carry behind me and it's not a, a ordinary Suzuki because it's converted to electricity and uh, we have the builder here today in Hans Garage. This Suzuki is very, a very interesting car, and uh, the builder Esa, we will interview he he soon, and um, he will tell us more about uh, the technique about this car. But uh, this is not just Esa's hobby; he um, has done this a uh, lot, and he has a company for converting uh, normal or classic cars to electric cars. And I know that uh, he has a ready kit for a uh, Volkswagen Beetle. If you have a classic Beetle in your garage, you should ask uh, help from Esa. I think he can, he can help you. But this car, uh, you can't tell from outside that it's converted. Uh, it seems just a normal, normal Suzuki carry, but maybe that wire will tell you something. And uh, the exhaust is also missing, so <laughs> so that gives a signal too. But next, let's ask Esa more about this car. Okay, Esa, a very nice car, and welcome to the Hans Garage. And um, this is not just a hobby for you. You have a company called Munduva, and you can check the web page munduva.fi. Yeah, you can visit our web page. Yes, <laughs> yes, please do so. Uh, and about you, how did you involve with uh, electric cars? Yeah, first, uh, thank you that, that you are uh, asked to come in your garage. And You're welcome. <laughs> yeah. uh, it is year 2009 when yeah. I first uh, uh, starting to do this. And uh, I have an um, electrician background and uh, a oh, yes. software engineer. Yeah. So, that's the quite easy to understand this technique. Yeah. F and the first car what we convert was a Volkswagen Beetle. Oh yes. And yeah. uh, that that is that was a hobby. Yeah. But I I understand that that might be also the business and uh, yeah. We we start to make company and today this Mundua is all only converting these cars and yeah. We have made one car per year, and now now we have uh, two different car in the converse, and uh, yeah, lot of asks. Yeah, yeah. So you you have a lot of things to do also in future. <laughs> yes, <laughs> I hope that. Yeah, and, and this car, this Suzuki Carry, is also uh, going to a customer, and you are just doing the test drive. How's the test drive has been going? Fine, fine. Yeah. Uh, there is a lot of uh, confirmation what need to do in yeah. the, in the con motor controller and uh, PMS. Yeah. PMS is a battery management system. And yeah. Now, now I have run the test uh, in the city drive and the highway drive, and yeah. and I want to make sure that uh, when I put the car in the charts that it will work. Yeah. Correctly. Yeah. This is quite small car. Uh, is it uh, easier or harder to convert this kind of this this small car? Uh, this is quite easy. Okay. Uh, there is a lot of space. Yeah. Uh, this is an old car. There is a lot of space, and not so much other technique. Yeah. And uh, we made one mini, a small yeah. mini, okay. and it saw that it. It is easy, but it's it's quite difficult because it's so <laughs> yeah. small. Yeah, there is not so much space where you put the uh, big battery and uh, yeah. all those components. Yeah. So can you show us where you have hidden all the components in this car because they are not so visible? Yeah, uh, Technic uh, motor and those kind of are uh, under the seats. Yeah. But in the back we have uh, 
battery package. Oh, it was here. Oh, yeah. Here is uh, six models, and uh, here is uh, electric with handle. Yeah. Yes. There is uh, some um, sealed tapes. Yeah. Yeah. Covering because it's a customer. Yeah. Customer's car. How how far you can get with with that that size of battery? Um, now I have driven 125 kilometers. Yeah. But yeah. The battery wasn't uh, not 100 percent. Yeah. Charge it. Yeah. Maybe 150. Yeah. Because this car is not made for highways. It's like it's like a city car. So I think that distance is just perfect for for that kind of use. Yeah. Driving driving in city. Yeah. Yeah. In yeah. the highway, this is a little bit noisy. Because <laughs> yeah. The wind and everything takes takes. But uh, in the city, this is a very perfect. Yeah. This is a small. You have a window in every side. You can see. Yeah. And uh, very quickly. Yeah. <laughs> in the traffic lights, you can you can go very yeah. fast. Yeah. And in this car, you said that there is a. It used to be like thirty-one kilowatts with the with the combustion engine. Yeah. And now it's uh, thirty-eight. It's like maximum to get this legally registered, right? Yeah. Yeah. But with this setup, you can get uh, three times more out of this this engine if I understood correctly yeah this motor will will, will give 90 yeah. kilowatts yeah but yeah. also you can add one more battery yeah and, okay but and but uh, if you want to drive in legal yeah you have to use <laughs> yeah. This setup. yeah this car could be quite interesting to try with 90 kilowatts yeah i think <laughs> the rest of technique will not work. <laughs> yeah handle the handle the power mm. can you please lift the the bench Oh yes, there's a, a lot of stuff under the seats. Yeah, there is now a few fires still open because we have we have connected to our test things. But uh, yeah, here is a charger yeah. and a small battery. We yeah. don't need the big battery anymore because we don't need the starting current. Yeah, this is only for legal things ah, needed. Yes, yeah. here is a, a AC converter yeah like a little bit star charger yeah uh, and here is a motor and uh, this is a, a converter yeah yeah and you still have the uh, shifter and the gearbox yeah that's the easy convert in that way yeah that is not necessary but now you have all things what you have earlier yeah so if you want to make carry yeah you, you can yeah and also you have a five gear so you yeah. can go very fast yeah yeah <laughs> and it's uh, it's possible that like you said it's possible to to pull the trailer with, yes. the, with this car yeah yeah that's that's nice there's a it's uh, quite full but you still said that this was uh, like an easy project <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah that is an, our first that kind of setup yeah and this is our plus one uh, set up yeah. so we can use this the same in the other cars yeah yeah and you you said that you have a ready kit for for example uh, Volkswagen Beetle but you suggest that you you do the conversions that's because all the cars are like uh, unique. special yeah, yeah unique yeah yeah uh, how about SR the price it's always mm -hmm. interesting uh, uh, what kind of uh, budget should we have if we are planning to do conversion like like this? Starting with the uh, thirty thousand euros, yeah, yeah. and uh, that is not the kit that means means the you have converted car. Yeah, but it starts starting that. But uh, like like we thought that uh, every uh, every conversion is a uh, unique. Yeah. So yeah. we have made uh, one hundred thousand cars. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and it, it depends what, how much you want to power, and how how much you want to range. So. Yeah, yeah, and I know that you have one interesting project going on, Jeep, Jeep Patriot, I yes. think. Yeah, in the, this moment. And uh, 
you promise that I can visit your factory when it's it's ready. <laughs> yeah, we have now driven in the first first test drives and yeah, uh, and, uh, yeah. And I, I think you might be interesting that we have also in the one Volvo, yeah, old yeah. the Saint P one hundred thousand, yeah, uh, one thousand eight hundred. Yeah, 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 that that would be a great to see uh, converted that car. Uh, what has been uh, most ex, uh, uh, exotic car you have converted, Be Beetle or Mini or something something else? Uh, I think the, our own uh, Servolet Master model oh. 139. Oh, yeah. Uh, that is not ready yet, but it's uh, yeah. still in the... I think you can uh, see that car in your uh, web, web yes, page. Yes. Yeah. So, Visit moontuva.fi and check the car. <laughs> that's great. Well, Esa, that's uh, that's very interesting. Uh, but I think now it's uh, time for test drive. What do you yeah. think? Oh, mä joskus ennenkin sähköauton kyytis ollut, mutta mut en näin vanhan. Mikä vuosimalli tää on? Sitä en nyt muista. Joo. 80-lukua vai? Aivan. Yes, this is, this is going nice. Yeah. Yeah, it's a... Uh, like you said, this is like a box. So this is a little bit noisy, but I, I can guess that some of your projects are very quiet. Yeah, there is no any uh, sound. Yeah. And the yeah. new car, like, like our... Cheap, what we are now converting is very, very silence. Yeah, yeah. Neighbors on a walk. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This is this is uh, this is classic. This is uh, from 1980 something, I think. This car. Yeah, I'm, I'm not sure what is the yeah. correct model, yeah. but I think it's 1980. Yeah. So it's it's 30 or 40. 40 years old. Yeah. Yeah. So this is uh, the contrast uh, is is so huge that it's it's uh, it's very interesting. Old car and new technology. This is yeah. I like. If you check that in the outside or inside, you you not notice that this is a yeah. What kind of technique there is? Yeah. Yeah. And you said that there is about 200 new newton meters of torque. Yes, which is uh, quite a lot in in this kind of small. Yeah, small. I <laughs> nice. <laughs> and there is a still limitation. Yeah, yeah. Well, this, yeah, that's, that's uh, something you don't expect uh, from a car like this. Yeah. <laughs> there is uh, some auditor drivers in the traffic lights. And yeah, the, yeah. And when the third uh, lights coming. Yeah. The smile goes away. Yeah. 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 And uh, especially in uh, in this situation when the um, petrol or fuel fuel is very expensive, these kind of uh, cars uh, are very interesting in in many many uh, aspects. Yeah. Now when I have a drive this uh, uh, two weeks in the yeah. best drive with this yeah. and uh, normally uh, I I don't have a own uh, electric car yet yeah I, I wait when our our company will manufacturing this yeah servolet yeah but uh, when I go to the gasoline tank uh, I need to 100 euros yeah but this is like free yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> Yeah, I have a Volvo XC70 and it has about uh, 69 or 70 liter uh, fuel tank and it cost me like 140 or 150 euros to refill it. Yeah. Which is, uh, that's, that's, uh, that's something. Yeah. It depends on how much uh, you paid for the electricity, but yeah. it's something like 30%. Yeah, yeah. That's cheap. Yeah. Yeah. But next, uh, you promised me to show how you recharge this car. Yeah. Yes.
and the charging, uh, like you said, just uh, <laughs> on that order. And the charging, it's quite easy because you don't have to go to the uh, gas station to do the refill. It's uh, possible to do here at the Hans Hans garage. Yeah, that's the, that's the very important thing because yeah. if you have a combustion car, you need to go to car, car station. Yeah. But yeah. now when you have electricity in everywhere, yeah. in the countryside, everywhere in yeah. the city, then you only need this home home adapter yeah. where, where you put the socket yeah. and the, the add-on in the yeah. car. Ah, you have hidden it there. Mm, yeah. It's original original place. Yeah. How convenient. <laughs> Just plug and, and... Yeah, plug and play. Yeah. <laughs> How long does it take to uh, re recharge, fully recharge the battery in this kind of conditions. Yeah, you can add just here in the current. Yeah. 10, 10 ampere or 16 ampere. Yeah. Uh, 10 ampere, it will take uh, eight hours and yeah. 16, about six hours. Yeah. So it's like a work day. Yeah. yeah. But in the, in the night when the car, car is in the yeah. standing. Yeah. Of course, you can go to, you can put the three phase yeah. charging station, then you get to about three hours and yeah that's quite quick yeah <laughs> yeah yeah that's that's handy uh, nowadays we also support the CSS oh. uh, that's the fast charging yeah and that's that's very fast yeah about one hour okay thanks Esa, for for nice test drive what do you think what are the benefits of this kind of conversion or or benefits of electric cars uh, uh, compared to combustion engines yeah that's the one the reason why i interested in this yeah there, there is a so much less that kind of what what you don't have yeah in, in no no crankshaft no yeah. oil no oil filter yeah no Spot, I don't spot, even no, know those yeah. words. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's uh, it's almost service free or yeah. almost. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Of course, you have a brakes and that kind of yeah suspension and you yeah need to care. But uh, they say that you can drive one million kilometers. Oh. And if you think where uh, in the industry, what kind of place there is electric motor? Yeah, so, yeah. They can take quite heavy beating those engines. So, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and uh, with the battery, well, 300,000 kilometers. Yeah, yeah. So it's quite easy, easy driving with the electric car. Yeah. Yes. Hey, thanks, Esa, for visiting the, visiting the channel. Uh, do you have some um, something to say for, for the viewers? Yeah, you can like the channel, and uh, if you have not. So bright. So bright then. <laughs> yes, thanks. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> do do that. Mm -hmm. Thanks Esa for visiting the channel. Yeah, thank you. <laughs>